can black holes die? Well, black holes can't die in the way that we usually think of. Let me explain why. Black holes are formed when a massive star collapses under its own gravity during a supernova explosion. This collapse is so intense that it creates a region in space where the gravitational pull is incredibly strong, and nothing, not even light, can escape from it. This region is what we call a black hole. The reason black holes don't die in the conventional sense is because they are already in a state of being dead in a way. What I mean by this is that black holes don't undergo the usual processes that living things do, like aging or biological decay. However, black holes can undergo a process called Hawking radiation, which was proposed by physicist Stephen Hawking. According to this theory, black holes can emit particles and energy over extremely long periods of time. This happens due to a quantum effect near the event horizon, which is the boundary of the black hole, where nothing can escape. Particles and antiparticles are constantly being created and annihilated in empty space. Occasionally, near the event horizon, one of these particle pairs may form, with one particle falling into the black hole, while the other escapes as radiation. This radiation is known as Hawking radiation. Over an immense span of time, this radiation can slowly cause a black hole to lose mass. As the black hole loses mass, it gradually gets smaller and weaker in its gravitational pull. Eventually, if a black hole keeps losing mass through Hawking radiation, it could become so tiny and weak that it effectively disappears. However, it's important to note that this process takes an incredibly long time. For all the black holes that currently exist, the amount of time it would take for them to completely evaporate through Hawking radiation is longer than the age of the universe. So, practically speaking, black holes can be considered to be very long-lived objects. In the time it takes for a black hole to die or completely evaporate through Hawking radiation depends on its initial mass. Smaller black holes emit more radiation and evaporate faster than larger ones. For a black hole with the mass of the sun, about 2 billion trillion kilograms, the evaporation process would take an incredibly long time, which is much longer than the current age of the universe. It would take approximately 10 to the power of 67 years for a black hole of that size to evaporate completely. To put this into perspective, the current age of the universe is estimated to be around 13.8 billion years. The time scale for black hole evaporation is unimaginably vast compared to the age of the universe. Keep in mind that this estimation assumes that no additional matter or energy falls into the black hole during its lifetime, which is not always the case in real astrophysical scenarios. Factors like accretion, the process of capturing surrounding matter, can increase a black hole's mass, thus prolonging its evaporation time. To summarize this in two sentences, black holes don't die in the traditional sense, but they can slowly lose mass over time through a process called Hawking radiation. However, this process is extremely slow, and the lifespan of a black hole is expected to be much longer than the age of the universe. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to the channel.